G'day everyone, John from Springer Solar here. Today we want to have a good look at lithium batteries. Lithium batteries have taken over the automotive market. They sell like crazy these days. So today we want to get into lithium batteries in depth. We want to explain to you why a lithium battery is the best option for you. What lithium battery to buy? There's a lot of variety out there today, lots of batteries on the market. So we wanna try and make that decision on what battery to buy easier for you. And then also what you need to do to your system to be able to actually fit a lithium battery. So let's get into and have a deep dive on lithium batteries. First thing we wanna look at is why you would want to buy a lithium battery over say something like an AGM. So what are the actual advantages of going lithium over other types of batteries? For me personally, I think the number one reason is the cycle life of the battery. A lithium battery is going to give you about 10 times the cycle life or the usable life of the battery over an AGM. For an example, if you were to discharge a good quality lithium battery to 100%, you will get about 3000 cycles out of that battery. An AGM, you will only get about 300 cycles out of that AGM battery. So the cycle life is about 10 times greater on a lithium battery than an AGM battery. Ultimately, that means the lithium battery is by far the cheapest battery to own and operate of any battery. People look at the upfront price of a lithium and think it's a bit more of an expensive option. Reality is it's not. It is by far the cheapest battery for you to operate in any situation really, because it is going to live a lot longer. You don't have to keep replacing your batteries every two or three years like you do with AGM. You might get a better life on some circumstances with AGMs, but lithium is just going to give you a much longer lifespan. So they are by far the cheapest battery. So for me, that is actually the number one reason to buy a lithium battery. Second, is weight okay weight in most caravans motorhomes is a big issue for people today uh, you've got towing capacities for your car and your caravan a lithium battery is going to be miles lighter than an agm take a 100 amp hour lithium it's probably around 15 kilos a 100 amp hour agm is probably going to be about 25 kilos so a lot lighter as well, which is a great thing for caravan and motorhomes. Not only is it lighter, but also you don't actually need as big a capacity with lithium as well. So they've got a much better usable energy per battery. For example, let's just take a 100 amp hour lithium battery. You've got 80% usable energy figure for that battery. So that means you can use 80 amp hours out of that 100 amp hour lithium battery. AGM generally only have a 50% usable energy rating. So 100 amp hour AGM, you only get 50 amp hours out of it in ideal, ideal circumstances, okay? You don't wanna use more than that. So you actually don't need as big a battery bank with uh, lithium. So that actually makes the cost even more cost effective because you're not buying as big a battery bank. Also, you're not buying as big a battery bank, so it doesn't take up as much weight for you. So a 100 amp hour lithium is probably equivalent to like a 160 amp hour AGM. Okay, so that's another reason why lithium is much better than AGM. Another big advantage of lithium batteries is they're more efficient to charge. Basically, you can pull 100 amp hours out of a lithium and recharge it a lot quicker. So that actually makes your whole system more efficient. Your solar panels are going to be able to produce more usable power for you because they get that battery back to 100% quicker than they would an AGM. An AGM has a lot of internal resistance, so as it gets fuller, the actual charge rate slows right down. AGM takes ages to get from 90% to 100%, whereas a lithium will do that in a lot quicker time frame. So your charging system is a lot more efficient. So you've actually got more power out of your charging system. So another big advantage for lithium batteries. Okay, so in every aspect, a lithium battery is a much better battery than say an AGM. It's more cost effective. It's much cheaper to own a lithium than AGM. It's lighter, it's more efficient, more usable energy out of a lithium. So hands down, pretty much every metric you wanna use, 
lithium is much better than say the traditional AGM battery. So now that you know we convince you that a lithium battery is the better way to go all right now it's the decision what lithium to buy so let's have a look at the differences between all those lithium batteries out there on the market so if you've ever researched lithium batteries looking to buy a lithium battery you'll know that there are literally hundreds on the market at the moment in australia price varies i'll just talk it in the 100 amp hour just to keep it simple starting from like 300 dollars going through to like $1,300, okay? So massive price variance. My probably best advice to you to start with is if it's really cheap, it is so for a reason. My opinion is if, if it's sort of under $500, Roughly, you're going to be looking at potentially a very cheap and nasty battery, okay? One that is highly likely to fail on you down the track, not made from good quality products. So a cheap battery really has poor quality cells in it. Those cells are put together in a poor quality way. You know, those cells, you've got four cells inside a battery. What's stopping those battery cells from moving around? What connects those battery cells together electrically is really important because if they move or those wires are not connected properly, the battery just is not going to work. Okay, and if you see inside a poor quality battery, I've seen them where the cells are literally just taped together and there's just little foam inserts around the outside just to try and stop the cells from moving so if you can imagine you take that out in the bush and you've got some vibration all that sort of stuff that battery is highly likely to fail on you so they use poor quality cells they put it together in the cheapest way they possibly can and sell it onto you at a cheap price obviously but high chance that battery is not going to last so if it's really cheap, fair chance it is for a very good reason, okay? Price-wise, the Invicta Black is our entry-level lithium battery, okay? That's the cheapest one we offer. That goes for around the $700 to $800 mark, okay? Um, like I said, anything significantly cheaper than that, you're probably starting to get into a poorer quality battery. You go up to your Enerdrive B-Tech as probably that next step up. And then really, you're probably taking a jump to Victron and Invicta Zero as your premium and lithium batteries. Invicta in a 100 is probably around sort of 1300 as sort of top of the range or most expensive battery that we offer. These two have IEC certification on the entire battery. Now that's a pretty big thing for these guys. These guys have got IEC certification on the cells only. Okay, so that means the cells are certified, but not the entire battery. Because an entire battery with lithium includes your BMS system, okay, which is an important part of your battery. So these guys here have just gone that extra mile to get that certification. That certification is a rigorous amount of testing to make sure that this battery is safe. They really try and destroy the batteries and see how it reacts and see if it reacts in a safe manner, okay? So these guys, like I said, still using high quality cells, you know, really good reliable battery, but they haven't got that testing. And you can be pretty sure that the cheaper batteries are definitely not going to have that testing as well. So IEC certification on the battery is a big indicator of the quality of the battery. Now, the difference between say a cheap one and say something like a Invicta Zero here, which is our top quality one. Obviously they use top quality prismatic cells in it. Those cells are encased in a metal frame that holds everything together really, really well. High quality engineering in it. That frame is then attached to the inside of the battery so there's no movement, nothing can sort of shake loose. The BMS that's inside, the wiring that's inside is all done properly. You know, you've got bolts, you've got proper bus bars, proper BMS, heat sink on top of it. Everything inside that is built to last and to never give you a problem. Seven year warranty as opposed to a lot of other brands that are only five year warranty. So they back their product up by their warranty. So you really will get what you pay for with lithium batteries. The poorer the quality is, the cheaper it will be, the more likely you're gonna have a failure and it's not going to live as long as say something like an Invicta Zero battery, okay? 
Look, really simply put, I would probably say your Invicta Black and your Enerdrive are best for, say, four-wheel drive type situations, like dual battery systems in four-wheel drives and sort of smaller DIY type installations. If you're gonna go up to a bigger system where you really need quality, you're spending good money getting a really good system, then Victron and Invicta Zeros are the way to go. These guys will allow you to series parallel multiple batteries. So if you need a big battery bank, you really are going to have to go this. If you're getting a whole new system fitted to your van, you're really going to have to go these because they're the only ones that will be up to Australian standards because they've got the IEC certification on the full battery. Okay, those guys don't. So if you're getting a brand new system fitted to your van, your battery should have IC certification otherwise it's not up to Australian standards just a quick thing on the Victron battery the Victron battery does not have a BMS inside the battery whereas the other three have the BMS built into the battery at the moment this is the only one available that's about a thousand dollars for that one so you've just got a factor that you've got to buy a BMS separate to the battery because the battery prices are pretty good for Victron but you do have to buy a BMS with Victron generally I sort of say that they're not a DIY style battery. They're really sort of something that you have to buy a complete Victron system and you have to wire the battery to the BMS, the BMS to all the charges, all the loads. It works differently than these guys here. These guys will turn themselves off. This battery never turns off. The BMS turns off all the charges and all the loads, okay? It doesn't turn off the battery, okay? So they work a bit different. So if you're gonna go Victron, make sure you've got a Victron trained professional to fit it for you, but they give you sort of fairly unlimited ability to be able to series parallel these batteries. And you only gotta buy one BMS for the entire system. Invicta, Enerdrive, Victron, been in the industry a long time, really reputable suppliers, do a wonderful job. We know their quality. They've been in Australia for a long time and they've got a great warranty. They back their products and we can vouch for their reliability. Really, one of the big things is look for a quality manufacturer. It's pretty easy to tell if you do a bit of research on lithium batteries. You can sort of tell who's playing in the cheap end of the market and who's playing in the high quality end of the market. It doesn't take too much research to sort of see the really good brands, get good reviews. Price gives you an indication, I know, it's not a perfect scenario, but you know, it does, it does help you to know that, look, you really will get what you pay for with lithium batteries, okay? We won't go into every sort of technical bit and piece to do with it because that would just take too long okay all our specs are on the website we've got plenty of staff you can come into store and have a chat to about your particular circumstances because obviously everyone's circumstances and budgets so each battery has its particular usage as well all right so now we've decided we're going to go lithium we've decided which lithium we want to buy now the next thing is obviously what do i need to do to my system so that my system is lithium compatible okay so ultimately with say your invicta black and a drive and invicta zero your charging sources just need to be lithium compatible so you got your solar regulator you got your 240 volt charger and possibly a dc dc so generally there's only three charging sources in most automotive systems you can't charge your lithium directly from your start battery like a, through a relay, you must have a DC-DC. So you must have a DC-DC, you must have a solar regulator, and you must have a 240 charger that are lithium compatible. So if you're literally just trying to swap out an AGM battery for a lithium, just check your chargers are lithium compatible. Okay, and if they're not, they need to be changed to lithium compatible chargers. Everything else is fine. You don't need to worry about loads, doesn't matter, okay? Victron's a little different. Like I said, it's got external BMS. So it's sort of, it, everything wires together with Victron. So you got to wire it. You would have to have Victron chargers ideally. There are ways to do it without Victron chargers, but generally with Victron batteries, you're gonna have a full Victron system that is all completely wired together. So everything communicates. BMS controls all the charges and stops them from charging if it gets overcharged or disconnects your loads if it gets too flat. Simply put, your charges just need to be lithium compatible. We do get into a bit of an issue where any vehicle that has a dedicated 240 inlet and you're changing the system, legally that comes under Australian standards and should be fitted by a licensed 
professional and there are lots and lots of rules and regulations around what you need to do. Like lithium batteries should be in a sealed compartment if you're gonna fit it, say, underneath the bed inside. Otherwise, you need to fit it outside. So you do get into a bit of a gray area with changing your system in, say, a caravan. Four-wheel drives that don't have a dedicated 240 inlet, you can sort of still do that yourself. It doesn't come under any sort of standards as far as electrical concern. It's all just low voltage, so you can certainly just whack in batteries as long as you do it properly, of course. But yeah, you don't have to worry too much about that. If you're just sort of replacing a battery that has failed, again, you know, you should be pretty right to do that. But if you're making a significant change to your caravan system, it should be done by a licensed person who can actually provide you with a certificate to say that it's done up to Australian standards. So there we go, we've had a bit of a brief rundown of lithium batteries. Obviously there's, there's lots more that we could talk about with lithium, there's lots of different options and things like that, but that's, it would be way too long a video, so we're just going to keep it fairly simple. But like we said, lithium batteries, definitely the best way to go, cheapest way to go. Pick a good quality battery, honestly. <laughs> you won't regret it. Cheap batteries, we've been in the industry a long time, we've seen what happens with cheap batteries, it's not good. So get yourself a good quality battery, come in and talk to us, we'll give you the advice you need. Thanks for watching, we really appreciate you watching our videos, so if you like the video, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.